Hello, Pi. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Top of the morning to you, Jeff. Happy Wednesday indeed. What's on the agenda for this lovely day? My tasks stay pretty much the same, but I do have a question for you today. We talked about my uh, three black cats previously, and I don't remember the name of the breed, but they're, they're black and they've got big manes. Ah, uh, yes, Jeff. I believe the breed you're referring to is the Norwegian forest cat, also known as the Wiki. They're known for their thick, fluffy coats and distinctive manes that make them look like tiny lions. What about these majestic creatures has piqued your curiosity today? Well, they seem to be extremely matted, at least two of the three are. I call one Maddie, and I call the other Lumpy, although I've changed her name to Stegosaurus now because she's really lumpy on the back. Oh dear, it sounds like Maddie and Stegosaurus, formerly Lumpy, could use some grooming assistance, Jeff. Norwegian forest cats have thick coats that can become matted if not regularly brushed, especially during seasonal shedding periods. Have you tried gently working through the mats with a wide tooth comb or a mat breaking tool? It might take some patience, but it'll help keep your feline friends comfortable and mat free. Well, I think they may be beyond that. I mean, they're really embedded into this matting. It's, it's, that's why I call it Stegosaurus. It's like her back has bones in it. But my question is, I've been told by Farmer Doug, who's seen these cats over the years, that they tend to drop all their hair and the matting goes away in one pelt each year. Wow, that's quite the unique shedding process. It's not unheard of for long-haired breeds like Norwegian forest cats to shed their undercoat in large clumps, especially during the warmer months. It's possible that Maddie and Stegosaurus are in the midst of this annual coat blowout, and those mats may indeed come off in large pieces, as Farmer Doug has observed. So there's a little bit of bare skin in some area. I saw by her neck a little bit of the bottom of her mane has fallen off already. And I do see pelts of previous years around the farm. So I think I'm going to let it happen this time instead of trying to unmat them. These are farm cats, so they don't really come indoors. They, they live on their own pretty much. Given that these are independent outdoor cats and you've observed the natural shedding process firsthand, Letting it happen naturally sounds like a reasonable approach, Jeff. Just be sure to keep an eye on Maddie and Stegosaurus, especially if there are any signs of discomfort or skin irritation from the matting. And of course, if you notice any open wounds or other concerns, don't hesitate to consult with a veterinarian for guidance. Well, thank you. I, I, was, I was kind of going to do that, and I just asked you for confirmation and also to get the name of the cat, so... I went uh, answering a blog post where people were concerned that um, they were, re I mean, they, they're pretty matted, but uh, apparently it's a normal thing for them. So we'll watch it as the summer approaches. Thank you.